Um, a ketchup. Ketchup. Would you yes. rather <laughs> be scared by a poop ghost or be the poop ghost? You want to play Would You Rather? <laughs> <laughs> let's let's try that let's try that other game uh since poopy ghost seems to be uh a flop if you'll forgive the play on words should we just mash these all together again speaking of poopy yeah i was thinking we could start out with this and then roll right into something else yeah let's let's do that <laughs> oh god okay. okay are we starting uh yes let's start in three Two. One. You didn't start. How dare you? <laughs> Welcome to either. <laughs> <laughs> because Poopy Ghost sucks. <laughs> poopy Ghost. Uh, All right. <laughs> Would you rather be a Poopy Ghost or be scared by a Poopy Ghost and poop yourself? I think a Poopy Ghost. That sounds like an awesome afterlife where True. all you do is make people poop. Yeah. Uh -oh. I mean, you wouldn't be able to smell it either. So. All right. Oh, no. So... Who's going first in our Would You Rather session? Since I did the intro, then uh, you do the other part. <laughs> All right. Wait a minute. It's showing me who who agrees before I've even... <laughs> yeah, I got anything. that too. <laughs> okay, well, would you rather speak only in Ebonics or mm -hmm. understand no slang whatsoever? <laughs> oh, that's actually kind of funny. Um... <laughs> I guess logically not understand slang. You would rather not understand any slang than speak in Ebonics? Yeah. Racist. <laughs> racist. Uh, okay. So 66% of people agree with you. <laughs> it's surprisingly not that many. Yeah, I mean, 34% of people were like, I already do. You know, I already speak in Ebonics. What the fuck? But anyway... What what did, you know, what did you pick? Yeah, that or no? I would actually speak only in Ebonics, because I would understand everything going around, on around me, and I would just, I would probably be able to write normally, you know, but I would just, I would speak poorly. Oh, wait, I mean, I would speak differently. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Boo, you dug your own hole. <laughs> <laughs> uh. I mean, when, when the name of, when the name of a dialect, you know, is a bastardization of yeah, you're, phonics you're, i mean you're you know just, uh, yeah it, it's not, it's not looking good Oof, you just dug such a big hole uh, all right about it. i also don't like undertale so <laughs> so would you rather speak only in questions or speak only in movie quotes hmm so <sighs> <laughs> I know. Here's the thing. Would you have access to any movie quote ever? You know, even regardless of whether or not you've seen the movie because Yeah, you, you just know it. it's your own language. You got only have movie quotes. I would I would choose movie quotes then because while speaking in questions means you just would turn into a valley girl. Um <laughs> you know, everything would sound like a question. I think that you know, there have been enough movies out there that probably anything you want to say could be Those a movie are quote. Those are both annoying. I had a, my, an ex who would always quote movies like it was her legitimate line or, or idea she thought of. I think <laughs> she quoted Batman and she went, you know, it's always darkest before dawn. And I went, Sh I wanted to just punch her in the face at that moment. <laughs> I'm so glad you said that because now we can just discuss how you're a spousal abuser and that's it. Or a... <laughs> No, no, she 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 was not a nice person. Uh, wow. She would kick a kid for fifty dollars. <laughs> <laughs> Did you test that? <laughs> I was gonna say it's like I lost fifty dollars, but now I know. Hmm, interesting. Yes. Uh, I'll pick I'll pick uh, movie quotes as well. Yeah, I mean, you know, any sentence you can think of has been in a movie, so yeah. you know, a normal sentence that is. Most people agreed, seventy four percent. You could walk into a restaurant and say. I'd like a pizza with meatballs and, you know, green pepper. And you know, that'll be from that'll be said in a movie somewhere at some point. And, so. and you, we forget there's 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 porn movies too, so it's like, oh, did yeah. you want sausage with that pizza and boom, you got everything you need. There you go. You'd be able to say yes a lot from uh, yeah. porn movies. Yes, all, yes, yeah, yes, 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 God, yes. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, so moving on from our bullshit, would you rather <laughs> Be illiterate, or take everything literally. 
Oh, well, that was interesting. Like, would you rather not be able to read jack shit, or when somebody says, you know, uh, I'm going to give you a piece of my mind, you'd, like, turn away and go, Ew, no, I don't want to say. I, I think I think I'd go with illiterate, because I think nowadays most people don't read. So I think I think I'd survive being illiterate. Keeping in mind that the majority of what you're doing probably right now is on the internet. Yes. With writing. You still want to be illiterate. Okay. I, I could probably learn how to write at some point, so... I would probably take uh, everything literally, because there are people who are like that, and, you know, they seem... You know, you don't see them just being shot in the streets, so... You'd be boring, though. Oh. <laughs> being illiterate has 37%. Ah, see, some people get it. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute, what was the ebonics number again? Thirty-five <laughs> percent. Uh, anyway, I got. Would you rather be a dirty, dirty pirate or a stinky old ninja? I think you're making that up. <laughs> well, one's just pirate versus ninja. What would you rather oh. be? Uh, I would have to be a ninja because. You know, ninjas... Pirates are dirty. Yeah, pirates are dirty. Pirates have scurvy. Pirates have sex with little boys. Ninjas, and each other. Yeah. Uh, you know, the cabin boys. Like, you know, one day you're just going down the street with your giant oversized lollipop and your blonde curls and your little sailor suit. Next next day you're a cabin boy. You don't even know what the fuck happened. So... I mean, sure, you like it and the, the right. benefits are great, but, I mean... Yeah, I mean, you know, happen. that's the thing. You know, someone's like, want to see my salty sea dog? And you're like, sure. And the next thing you know, you're like 12 deep. But, you know. Uh, <laughs> I would choose being a ninja because you basically, you know, can you're not really restricted by being a ninja. Being a pirate, you're restricted to being an outlaw on the seas. You know, you're living on a ship. You know, ninjas can do pretty much whatever they want. So, ninja. Yeah, you know, you're just an assassin. Ninjas don't live, you know day-to-day -day on moldy bread and shit like that. Yeah, most people believed in ninjas, 76%. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's kind of a bullshit question. Yeah, you know, pirates. pirates Screw Johnny Depp. Pirates are shit. All yeah. right. Would you rather know everything in your partner's past or know nothing in your partner's past? Everything. Oh, no! <laughs> End of relationship, though. <laughs> <laughs> well, again, I, I think if you can't... It depends. Some people don't care, and they're like, whatever. But I think if you can't trust each other enough for that, then there's already an issue right there in itself. Well... I mean, if I learn she likes to eat her own boogers, I'll be like, well, it's uh, weird, but... <laughs> no, you can't kiss booger lips. I'm sorry. No. <laughs> and booger lips are the, the saltiest and tastiest oh, of lips. Oh, God. It'd be like kissing those trolls from uh, Ernest Scared Stupid. Come on. But um, I actually think I would pick not knowing your partner's past because I, speaking personally, am a, am a fan of sticking your dick in crazy and. Oh no no no! Yeah, I'm I'm a big fan of that. I'm a big fan of not knowing pretty much anything and just moving on. So. No no. <laughs> hey hey! If if you're wrapped and ready to go, what's the problem? <laughs> oh, you're you're turning into like an abuela. No, no, oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> just bad experiences left and right. I have a buddy who did that. Yeah. Oh, that's good. No one knows my face. <laughs> <laughs> he he did this. I haven't seen fr from him in like months now because of it. Like all of a sudden she was just like, I'm pregnant. And he's like, oh, geez. He's like, I'm not pregnant. Like, oh, it's like, actually I aborted him. He's like, what? Oh, and then God. he's like, oh, it like, like it got even crazier. And crazier, Ugh. and and everyone was and, and like, oh geez, I really shouldn't be telling people this. Like she literally tried to like hit him and break his crap, like and all that. And like <laughs> the police came and they were like, hey, um, you should. Crazy's crazy. She's not gonna stop being crazy. And he's like, no, but I love her. And, and yeah. here's the thing. See, that's the problem. Is uh, that that whole problem can be summed up in that one sentence? I love her. That's it. <laughs> no, but here's the thing. Here's the thing. She was because she was one of those people that like manipulated you mm. and made you feel bad because like I mean I don't want to know Mo, but he's a he's a fairly attractive guy, and he's dated like pseudo supermodel esque looking girls, and this girl's sort of kind of no if you are I mean if you're great personality keep like, going a, li a little overweight and keep a little going. 
all the, you know, and her person, she was not fun. I would joke with her and all she would do, it was creepy. She would look at you and just like undress you with your eyes. And I, even I felt she like dirty. She would dress you with your own eyes. With, with her eyes. And it'd be creepy. Rip them out. <laughs> it'd be like, what are you doing? Why are you looking at me that way? Like, I just, it was uncomfortable. Hmm. It was uncomfortable. So, no. No on the crazy part. And, and, and I've had personal problems. But I'm not going to tell people my problems. Well, see, so, <laughs> that's the whole thing is I, I spotted some very big problems there, which are falling in love and also telling her where you live. So... That's, that's the whole issue. So you want to know everything in your partner's past? I, I currently I trust her enough where it's huh. be like I'm sure the worst case scenario is like she picks her butt and sniffs it. That's the worst case I could probably think of. So seventy four percent of people are idiots and agree with you. Yeah. By the way, I love that phrase. I trust her, so I would like to know everything in her past. <laughs> <laughs> I trust her enough. <laughs> I trust uh, you. Now fill out this form about every partner you've had. <laughs> uh. Okay. So would you rather be forced to watch TV all the time or not watch TV at all? Well, uh, this is kind of an easy one because I don't watch TV at all. So not watch TV yeah. at all. I think everybody doesn't really watch TV now. I mean, I, mean, I don't. I wouldn't mind if they, you know, if they said be forced to watch TV all the time or, you know, uh be poked in the eye twice an hour I would say okay watch TV all the time because you know even that's not a big deal but you know yeah I mean you'd always have a TV going in the background you know so what I think most people like I watch like Hulu like Better Call Saul and all that but I think most people just like watch who like um, YouTube and stuff right. and I mean yeah like our channels don't forget to like comment and subscribe by the way <laughs> uh, but beyond don't forget that to not try YouTube Red but yeah <laughs> Yeah, but yeah, no, I don't think many people watch uh, TV as much. So, right. well, so yeah. how did that break down? Yeah, suck it, Time Warner. Sixty-six uh, percent picked uh, what? Uh, no TV. Wow, I can't believe it was that low. Even you know, I mean, yeah. it's a majority, but still weird. All right. Yeah. Well, anyways, again, suck it, Time Warner. So the cat's up. Would you rather wear high heels? Yes. Or. Or wear a dress. Now, this is I sense this mm -hmm. is going to be trouble because you're going to try to figure out which one you want to wear more. <laughs> which one I'd look prettier in yeah. with my ass. Uh, Do you want to shape and tone your ass through uh, wearing high heels? Or do you want to wear a beautiful, frilly number? You know what? The thing with high heels is they ruin your feet. They just ruin it. Yeah. So I can wear some nice flats. I'd just go with the dress. I'd go with the dress. Interesting. Interesting. But you could never walk over a steam grate again. But I'd be wearing a dress. Okay. Well, who cares? Yeah, right. exactly. You, people could see it. <laughs> I'd, I'd, it'd be like a kilt in some ways, so they get some double action going right True. there. You could, you could speak in a Scottish accent everywhere you go. <laughs> and it would make way more sense for some reason. <laughs> okay, so 62% agree with you about yes. wearing a dress. High heels agreed. Absolute bullshit. Oh. I don't know why people bother wearing them. I mean, there's this whole thing where people are like, society makes women wear high heels. And it's like, nobody nobody is making you do... I can guarantee you that absolutely nobody cares if you wear high heels. No, I, well, yeah, I don't, I, don't, I don't think no one really cares, but it's between, like, some girls like them, some girls don't. Some girls think girls should, you know, wear them. They're like, ooh, I like them when they wear stilettos. And I'm like, eh. Yeah. I don't. I don't like weird, stinky, crunchly feet. So you know, I, I'm not a big fan of heels. In, it's in sort of like you know, would you turn down this woman who's not wearing high heels? And it's like no. So <laughs> you know, yeah, what the fuck is the point? Either way, it doesn't matter. I'm like yeah, <laughs> yeah. I anyway. might might as well wear something comfortable. I mean, True. if she's comfy, that's all that matters. So. And if they're com if the shoes are comfortable, you're probably gonna have a nicer time because there's gonna be less. Right. Pain and aggravation, and of me trying to put your high heels on. Yeah, <laughs> trying to wrestle them away from her. <laughs> it's Let my wear, turn. Let me wear them. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> Just start sniffing. Anyways, oh, would God. you rather sit on a cold toilet seat, or this is stupid, sit on a warm toilet seat? Uh here's the thing. Yeah, a toilet warmer. I would. Re Does it have any? stipulations below because no just just that just cold or t cold or warm here's the thing i 
not knowing the facts behind this question, I would pick a cold toilet seat because <laughs> a warm toilet seat most likely means that somebody was just sitting there. It's not that bad. Uh, it's not if, that bad. But see, here's the thing. Of the two, I would pick cold. You know, Granted, it's not that bad, but of the two not that bad situations, I'd pick the one where I'm not pressing my ass right up against what somebody just had their ass on seconds before. They're both dirty, and there's enough, like, fleshy skin. There's, there's been studies. You're not going to catch anything from a warm, warm, well, no, but, you know, used, and let's just duty on it, then. I wouldn't, I don't like to use shopping carts that have a warm handle from someone just using it. <laughs> oh, you're that guy. You're that <laughs> well, guy. I mean, it's I'll, just, ugh. People. Gross. I'll pick warm just to see what's 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 up. So, 54% pick cold, because they thought the same thing you did. Yeah. They're like, hey. Yeah, yeah. 54% of people are smart, forward-thinking individuals. <laughs> uh. Oh, jeez. Uh... Shall I shall I skip this question? Why? What is what? it? I need to know. I need to know. Okay. Just say it. Say it. So the say cat's up. It. Would you rather have grown up without a father or without a mother? <laughs> uh, <clears throat> um, I uh, I grew up without a father, so I'm I'm, I'm fine without a father. <laughs> Either. This is kind of sad. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh. Wow. Wow. 73% agree with you. How how telling is that about society? My dad was an asshole, so... Yeah, I mean, I bet... I'll, you know, wow, that's amazing. I don't know, did you ever hear that thing about the prison uh, greeting card thing? With Mother's no. Day? No. Okay. True story, as far as I know. You know, take it with a grain of salt, I guess, but... They had a prison where they gave all of the prisoners Mother's Day cards on Mother's Day to send out to their moms. And basically okay. all... Huh? Say what? I said okay. Okay. Basically all of them you know, made the cards up and you know, had them sent out to their mothers. Then on Father's Day, they gave all the prisoners Father's Day cards and essentially none of them sent the cards. So there's a, there's a connection between having bad daddies... It who don't love their way. kitties as much, and they go to prison. Okay. It seems that way. I mean, you know, <laughs> granted, there's. I think it, it could also be drawn back to the fact that there's just a lot of us who have shit dads. <laughs> and, you know, any group yeah. of people, you're going to find a lot of people. <laughs> but and that's anyway. why I'm an alcoholic. That's, <laughs> that's why we're on YouTube. Please love us. Like, comment, and subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> we're trying to fill in the hole that our dads didn't put there. Yep. Or wait a minute. Or maybe they did. Yeah. Holy shit. <laughs> Somebody should check and see uh, if a majority of YouTubers have... Daddy uh, issues? Yeah, daddy <laughs> issues. Wouldn't that be amazing? But anyway. Uh, anyways, <laughs> so would you rather always watch Nicolas Cage movies or always watch Owen Wilson movies? That's what we follow up with. <laughs> uh, here, uh, Yeah, I mean... Nicolas Cage movies are usually action-packed thrill rides, uh, regardless of how ridiculous they are. I just watched a Nicolas Cage movie. <laughs> Owen Wilson movies are utter shit, and Owen Wilson is shit. Hmm. So, I, you know, it, it's a difference between, hey, I'm a crazy guy, and, oh, why don't you love me, girl, in this movie? You know, So I would right. have to go with Nicolas Cage. Actually, I just watched uh, Ghost Rider. Was oh, it like a night or two ago? <laughs> yeah, that's so fucking horrible. <laughs> oh man, like I, it was, and it was funny because it was like two in the morning, and the next day I went to work. Yeah, and I saw this this young like couple like that should be in high school, and he had a skateboard, and she had a gray beanie, and they were holding hands. And then I go walk past him, and it's just two old Chinese ladies. It wasn't a couple at all. <laughs> <laughs> and that's what that Nicolas Cage movie did. It just melted my brain because I was like, "Oh, look at that cute couple." It's like, no, those are just two old Chinese ladies. What? What did I? What was I seeing? But well, eh. who says they weren't a couple though? It could have been. Yeah. Yeah. I have to go close yeah. my door. I'll be right back. <laughs> and should, should I keep on talking? Should I address the audience? Like, hey, audience, how you doing? Hey, guys. 
So, uh, Corm wanted me to tell you that uh, mm -hmm. he thinks you all smell like crap. What? Mm -hmm. Nothing, nothing. Just, mm -hmm. just talking to the audience. Oh, just really? Talking to, they, talking to the audience, quote unquote. They, Hi. they just. I was, I was telling them you think they're all fantastic. Oh, sure. Okay. All right. So yeah, I would watch Nicolas Cage movies. Owen Wilson sucks. All right. <laughs> Oh, those are the Chinese ladies. Oh, um, <laughs> 55, Nicolas Cage, and 45, Owen Wilson. That's ridiculous. By the way, two Chinese ladies starring Nicolas Cage and Owen Wilson coming to theaters. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm an elderly Chinese lady. We gotta get the Declaration of Independence. <laughs> That's hey, all the whole plot. Hey, come on, other Chinese lady. We don't have to do that. You know, We don't need the Declaration of Independence. Come on. I don't know. I'm trying to remember who Owen Wilson is. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, Luke Wilson's brother. <laughs> uh, he was in a bunch of shitty movies. Do you remember that remake of I Spy or whatever it was with Eddie Murphy? No. If it it's Eddie the, Murphy, I, I probably Eddie didn't Murphy. watch Fuck, it. I don't even... I don't the last even Eddie Murphy anymore. movie I watched was um, Flubber. Okay. Or not Flubber. <laughs> Let's see. The one where he's fat. He plays a flat, fat guy. Yeah. yeah. I can't remember any good movies, or I can't remember anything notable that Owen Wilson has been in, but yeah. All right. Yeah. Would you rather only smell like poop or only smell poop? <laughs> um, I think I can handle smelling poop. Really? Not smelling like poop, but smelling poop all the time. See, the, the thing is, it comes down to whether you'd rather subject everyone else to stink, or if you would rather just take the bullet yourself and be the one who smells stink. Not I think lie. I, would, I would only smell like poop. I'd be like, you know, tough shit for Not everybody gonna lie. else. But... Uh, poop smell doesn't fully bother me. <laughs> okay, well. And so it's like, yeah. <laughs> 73% of people agree with you. <laughs> Uh, seventy-three percent of people are fika files or whatever the fuck. They they like. I mean, have you ever tried scratching and sniffing? It's probably one of the best smells you'll ever. No, get. I have not. Okay, you know what? Next question. <laughs> Good night, everybody. <laughs> uh, so, would you rather be on jury duty or go to work? Um, I. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't specify what work it is, and I know that jury duty is always fucking early. I know that jury duty is always tedious and annoying, whereas your work may not be. I mean, if they should yeah, have, they should have specified where you're going to work. If they picked like I've done shadow jury, and that is fun when they pay you. Like I remember I did um, <laughs> shadow, shadow jury. jury. Well, essentially, it's they pay you to go to jury duty, like, right. and they do in general. But this one is like was like twenty dollars an hour, hmm. and um, and it was like you know at the end of the day or like twenty twenty five, and it's like man, you know what? I just sat and listened to some guy's problems and how his foot got ran over, and I made quite a bit of money just doing nothing. So I was hmm. like, that was kind of fun. <laughs> and they 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 gave you a stipend for lunch. So I was like, if it was shadow <laughs> jury. I would be like, yeah. Sure. You're like, they gave me lunch and a bus ticket. This is great. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was great because I drove there and they're like, we're giving you, I think it was like between 20 and 25. And I was like, what? Really? And then I was like, oh, and Subway, blah, blah, blah. So just say you're on jury duty. And I show the pass and they're like, all right, you get Subway. And I'm like, yes. <laughs> <laughs> and you were shadow judging Jared. And then, no, it was this old Chinese guy that got his foot ran over. By two Chinese women. On a skateboard. <laughs> a lot of Chinese people where I'm around. <laughs> hmm. uh, oh, the ketchup lives in China, for anyone who doesn't know. <laughs> but yeah, I would yeah. choose work because, you know, jury, it doesn't specify fun jury duty. And it doesn't specify yeah. boring work, so I would just... You know, the fun jury duty, the yeah. the Jared trial. Well, I mean, there there has to be fun jury duty. Like, you know, the O.J. Simpson There's trial. There's a clown. <laughs> oh, jeez. Speaking of clowns, Christopher Darden, am I right, ladies and gentlemen? But, uh, you know, there's got to be fun jury duty, I'm sure, you know, where it's like, you know, entertaining to be there and everybody wishes they were in your position, you know, that type of bullshit. But I'm not, I'm not down with that. 
Oh, there's cases like that. I forgot when I was I was during doing the sh- uh, shadow jury duty. There was a thing where someone was trying to sell their like jury duty ticket thing. I don't know. It was just <laughs> there was there was a way to get duty twenty bucks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was a, apparently a famous crime that happened. I forget what it was though, and people were trying to get in. God. Well. Ugh. And then he died. And then he died. The end. <laughs>